was a young person, maybe about a junior in college, uh, I saw the opportunity to take a class in lasers and it said, this course will cover the basic fundamentals of fiber optic communication. This is about 1979. And I said to myself, that is the thing of the future. Next generation systems and applications are gonna demand very cool materials, which have very unique properties that perhaps we haven't even thought about. And to be able to create these materials, we need optical designers, working with chemists, working with material scientists and physicists to think about how you make these, how you manufacture them, and how you package them so that they can be launched on satellites, so they can be packaged to advanced automotive imaging systems so that autonomous vehicles can be driven um, at night in the rain or snow. 70 years ago when they made the first transistor using electronics and we think of the the wonderful electronics that we have today in the college of uh, optics and photonics we're taking the photon and we're making photonic technologies which the way they did with electronics we are now going to usher that new evolution into society with photonic integrated circuits I realized after some of my own research that photonics is the pathway to the future of technology. Since it's um, now a part of defense, it's part of communications, it's part of medical, like it's basically there's application in any possible STEM field that you really want to go into. And I got really excited about that because that gives you a lot of um, mobility and flexibility in what you do. And basically it guarantees job security because I don't think it's going away anytime soon. It combined a few things I was interested in at the time. It uh, is cutting edge and you get a background in physics, mathematics, um, electrical engineering, quite heavily in electrical engineering. And also, uh, and maybe more importantly, it will set you up for success. You have um, a lot less of a pool that you're in of other students. So your chances of uh, being in demand is quite high. I was interested in lighting. I was a I was a light a lighting technician for stages and whatnot, and I wanted to design my own lights. So I went into photonics because of the fact that I was interested in uh, basically the lasers and the the, the lighting applications. Uh, to my surprise, um, when I went to photonics, it was uh, a lot deeper than that, and I was exposed to biophotonics, fiber optics, uh, uh, imaging systems and it gave me a whole new perspective on lighting and all the potential that you can do. My job is we integrate fiber optic technology into RF electronic systems. So they're, communica they're communication technology and we try to make the technology either smaller, um, operate at a larger bandwidth, um, faster and really just try to meet the requirements of whatever the customer needs. My main goal is to get a detector in that usually comes from outside from a vendor. We take it into our center and then we need to make sure we can test it so that it qualifies for all of our specifications for our customers. So as an optical engineer working in that department, I'm in charge of getting all of the detectors in and building up a test set where we can test either quantum efficiency, our dark current, and tons of other things to make sure all of our specifications are met. I also have started to uh, lead a team so that we can organize all of our testing and make sure that everything is on schedule. I work in the development of a variety of different uh, optics and laser systems for Department of Defense. Um, work on everything from like surveillance and reconnaissance systems to directed energy laser weapon systems. You start off with uh, calculus and physics. Both of them are three or four different classes. And in those classes, you'll start with about two to 300 kids in your intro classes, and it will drop down as you go to smaller and smaller classes 
and then you get into um, the optics classes, which is a complete night and day difference where um, commonly, well, for example, my first class in optics was geometric optics. And there was only about 10 to 15 students in there. And uh, the professor knew us all by name. And uh, we had a very, um, a, a much different relationship with our professor with our professors once we started in the optics classes. Uh, you can get a lot of individual attention. And what's special about this place is the commitment to um, quality, the uniqueness of the program that we offer, and the opportunity to really craft something that interests you to your skill set. You know, but we all end up studying together pretty well because the classes are pretty challenging. The classes are pretty challenging, but they're also very rewarding. I would definitely say that I've come out of all my classes feeling like I've gotten gotten my worth out of them and gotten like I've taken something home all the time. And they're things that like I feel like a lot of engineers really enjoy taking classes that build on one another and you're like, oh, well, I can apply this in this other class I'm taking now and that's really exciting and that's something that I can honestly say Creole classes do. And now that I'm working in a lab, I'm applying this knowledge in a lab and everything's kind of just coming together and you're like, wow, like when you get to the senior level, you're like, all of this stuff works so well together and there's a lot of synergy. And so a lot of the students, um, we all really work well together and we all study together because you kind of have to, you know, it's, it's really important that you can do teamwork. Photonic students are are all interesting because they're all brilliant. They're all the smartest people I've ever I've ever met, and I, I never included myself as those uh, those top tier uh, classmen. But the the beautiful thing about photonics uh, as a as a major, especially with the classes, is that because it's so new, uh, and because you're you're being introduced to something that uh, you don't really get exposed to often, in like in high school or even your your general uh, AA classes, everyone's on the same level. <laughs> Everyone is learning the same thing at the same time. So you're, you're here, these guys are, are brilliant, but it's like they know as much as you do on the subject. And it, it was a really cool experience that way. But I think ours is kind of unique in terms of being not very big, not very small. It's a pretty much an appropriate size where you can keep a very close relation with the faculty, with the staff, you know, with the, you know, other students. We don't have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of students inside that college, so you don't even know them. Pretty much you meet with them and then if you have questions, you can just go to any professor, knock at the door and ask uh, while you're doing your research. You know, for example, when you're doing your studies for a class. So it's an open environment, it's very friendly. You have so many opportunities, whether it's going to talk to a professor to see if you can sit in on one of their lab meetings or taking a, an extra class and maybe something that you haven't learned about yet. So I really advise to take all the opportunities you have at UCF and really get to uh, get involved in optics as a whole because you might really fall in love with another portion and realize, okay, this side uh, maybe isn't for me, but that does not mean the optics isn't for you. You know, please do your homework when you know your advisors or uh, mentors or uh, whoever says you know we expect you to spend you know 10 hours a week on every course we really mean that you know make sure your math skills are sharp you know make sure your science skills are sharp and when you come to to class do not view coming to UCF as i'm going to school no 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 you're coming to your place of employment you know your job is to show up you know in class on time your job is to do your homework and submit it as if you were submitting a report to your boss. To do anything less than that, I mean, you would never never give homework in to your boss ripped out of a spiral notebook. I'm just trying to train and give advice to the students to view UCF as that real stepping stone to what employment is like. Be willing to read books. You don't have to. That's, you know, that's something that a lot of people don't do. But really, if you want to be successful in photonics, because it's so concept heavy, I really think it's important. And I know that like developing a habit of reading while I study has really like made it so that I can apply the knowledge successfully a lot better because it's really conceptual. A lot of opportunity in the field of optics and photonics, a lot of different ways you can go with it. You can study lasers, you can study communication, um, you can make cell phone cameras. Um, there are a lot of different ways you can do with it and there's a lot of jobs and opportunity um, 
and, and it's it's highly in demand right now. So I think if you are ambitious and you're willing to to choose a path that is not necessarily uncertain but but unique, I think that this is the path that you should take.